Data types are an important concept of statistics, which needs to be understood to correctly apply statistical measurements to your data and therefore to correctly conclude certain assumptions about it. In this video, we will discuss the kinds of data and measurement scales. There are two kinds of data, numerical or quantitative data and categorical or qualitative data. Numerical data deals with numbers and things you can measure objectively, such as height, speed, temperature, humidity, prices, and volume. Whereas, categorical data deals with characteristics and descriptors that cannot be easily measured but can be observed subjectively, such as smells, tastes, textures, attractiveness, and color. Broadly speaking, when you measure something and give it a number, you create numerical data. When you classify or judge a something, you create categorical data. Another method of classifying variables is by identifying their corresponding measurement scales. Measurement scales also known as levels of measurement, are used to categorize and or quantify variables. It is a classification that describes the nature of information within the values assigned to variables. There are four scales of measurement that are used in statistical analysis. Nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio scales. The first and the lowest level of measurement is the nominal scale. The nominal scale of measurement only satisfies the identity property of measurement. Values assigned to variables represent a descriptive category but have no inherent numerical value with respect to magnitude. Sex is classified on the nominal scale of measurement since it has either male or female as its data. It can be observed that neither of the two is higher or lower than the other. Male is not superior or higher than female or the other way around. The second level of measurement is the ordinal scale. The ordinal scale has the property of both identity and magnitude. Each value on the ordinal scale has a unique meaning and it has an ordered relationship to every other value on the scale. The honors rank that assigns each student a number, first honor, second honor, and so on, is measured through ordinal scale. Here, we only know who obtained greater marks to whom, but we do not know by how much. We also do not know the actual marks obtained by anyone. Variables which data are measured as high, medium, or low are considered ordinal since it has both identity and magnitude only. The third level of measurement is the interval scale. Interval scale of measurement has the properties of identity, magnitude, and equal intervals. By using this scale, one can know which of the two values is greater or smaller. It also enables us to know by how much the values are greater or smaller. An example of which is the variable temperature as measured using degree Celsius. The difference between the 5 degree Celsius and 6 degree Celsius is the same as the difference between 24 degree Celsius and 25 degree Celsius. However, 4 degrees Celsius is not twice as cold as 2 degrees Celsius. Finally, the highest level of measurement is the ratio scale. The ratio scale of measurement satisfies all four of the properties of measurement. Identity, magnitude, equal intervals, and a minimum value of zero. When we measure something using a ruler, it gives us a measure on a ratio scale. A value that is 2 inches 
is said to be half of the length of something which is 4 inches. This is not evident on an interval scale. Also, 0 is included in it, meaning no length. It is not possible to measure negative lengths too. In practice, interval and ratio are grouped together since both are considered numeric in nature. Most parametric tests only require variables in terms of measurement scale to be at least interval. That's it for our video. Thank you very much and have a great day.